Little Bone Lodge opens fairly well with Mama, a gushing mother who really wants to deal with her incapacitated husband and her young girl, Maisie. Mama and her teenage daughter, Maisie, come together to eat cake and celebrate Pa's birthday. Since P.A. had an accident, so he was unable to do on his own. Perhaps that's due to the fact that Pa wouldn't be much help in a crisis, given he uses a wheelchair and is nearly mute, heavily medicated with the painkillers that Mama dispenses on a strict schedule. Their festivities are suddenly interrupted by banging on the door in the middle of a ferocious storm, pleading desperately for help after they've been in a car accident, and hysterical screaming from a young man outside. Against her better judgment, Mama opens the door and is greeted by a man, Maddie, and the injured body of his brother, Jack. Mama and Maisie offer the two men sanctuary and medical aid, but it soon becomes clear that the men are not as honest as they are pretending to be. Of course, the visitors aren't the hapless travelers they claim to be either. Jack and Maddie are brothers who were involved in some kind of robbery, but the escape has gone wrong now that the car has crashed. Older brother Jack is the one who Mama operated on, and soon he's unfeasibly mobile and ready to roll on after the removal of what looks like a significant length of rebar from his gut. When he and Mama go to the crash site to retrieve some vitally needed bags, highly strung and emotional, Maddie grows closer to Maisie. His recent confinement to a psychiatric institution comes out when they tune into Maisie's secret radio and learn Maddie is wanted for the murder of a nurse. Thank you.